हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम सो मच टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द डॉक्टर कृष्णन लेक्चर आई एम डॉक्टर रमेश कृष्णन डूइंग सुपर स्पेशलाइजेशन इन न्यूरोलॉजी एट इन द प्रेस पोलो हॉस्पिटल न्यू दिल्ली डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल फॉर मोर एंड रेगुलर अपडेट्स ऑन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स ऑफ द मेडिकल साइंस In this lecture video, I will discuss about bedside interpretation of CSF opening pressure by CSF manometer. The content of my lecture include what determines the opening pressure, what is the normal opening pressure. conditions associated with high opening pressure conditions associated with low opening pressure when is the opening pressure normal conditions associated with false positive opening pressure conditions associated with false negative opening pressure When do we need a head CT before a lumbar puncture? And finally, the summary and recommendations. So, friends, what determines the opening pressure? Opening pressure in a healthy individual is determined by rate of production and drainage of CSF. disorder that dysregulates the production absorption or flow of csf can cause an elevated or decreased opening pressure adults have 150 cc of csf and it is continuously produced and reabsorbed at a rate of 20 cc per hour the faster rate of production and accumulation explains why a patient of iih idiopathic intracranial hypertension typically only gets a few hours of relief after a therapeutic large volume tap what is the normal opening pressure The normal range of CSF opening pressure is seven to eight centimeter of water in an adult. An opening pressure of greater than twenty-five centimeter of water or less than five centimeter of water is abnormal. Next, the question comes: the conditions associated with too high opening pressure. it includes meningitis idiopathic intracranial hypertension some arachnoid embrace brain abscess intracranial vasculitis encephalitis intracranial masses venous sinus thrombosis causing decreased CSF reabsorption, zubular venous compression, and quiet plexus papillomas. Then comes the conditions associated with too low opening pressure. These include mass or abscess blocking the flow of CSF into the spinal canal. CSF leak following post lumbar puncture post traumatic post surgical and a spontaneous then question comes when is the opening pressure normal it includes aseptic meningitis cerebral epidural abscess normal pressure hydrocephalus and intracranial mass 
not involving or affecting CSF flow or causing significant edema as well as multiple sclerosis. Then comes the conditions associated with false positive opening pressure. That is, the opening pressure is normal, but we can get a high opening pressure in CSF manometer. The conditions include straining or performing a consalva, pulling knees up tightly, it could falsely increase the open pressure. If measured in sitting position, and in obese persons, open pressures could be high. Conditions associated with false negative opening pressure, it includes hyperventilating patients, patients who are dehydrated or hypotensive. Then comes, when do you need a head CT before end lumbar puncture? The conditions include, which can be remembered with acronym TAP as it. Trauma is greater than 60, papilledema or other signs of increased intracranial pressure, altered mental status, seizure, immunocompromised patient like HIV and AIDS, and focal neurological deficit such as hemiparesis or anisocoria. It can be a sign of impending hernia. Lastly, the summary and recommendations. Always measure an opening pressure when doing a lumbar puncture. Include the opening pressure value in your data set to help determine the cause of patient symptom. Remember the tap as if as the mnemonic to help remember whether a head CT may be helpful before a lumbar puncture. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind attention and watching my lecture. I will end up my today lecture with a beautiful quote defining success. That is, define success on your own term, achieve it by your own rules, and will the life you are brought to live. With this, I will end up my today lecture. Thank you all.